And hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Your NFL guru, Neil, is back for another week of predictions. Let's just recap real quick. Week one went very well, for especially for my week one woes for the past couple of years. Week one, we started off strong. Eight and five, so very good year. Called a lot of week, got a call, a lot of good upsets. It went very well, but now the big one, we're on to week two. The week where teams can stay undefeated, stay without a win, or get to 500. How is it going to work? <clears throat> we'll find out soon. And I start right away with Thursday night football. We got the Texans at the Bengals on Deshaun Watson's birthday. You got to go with those Houston Texans. Even though they're on the road, that defense is going to come through. And they're going to beat the Bengals in this one. The Patriots at the Saints. Wow. 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 I cannot believe the Chiefs upset the Patriots in Foxborough last week. Unbelievable game. Fantasy game for the ages, that's for sure. If you had Gillisley or Kareem Hunt, wow. What a, wow. I'm, I'm just, I don't even know what to say. It was unbelievable. But this week, I'm going to take New England to squeeze out the Saints in the Superdome by this little. But they're going to beat the New Orleans Saints in this one and get back to 500. The Bears at the Buccaneers. Buccaneers first game. Glad that everybody's safe in the whole Florida area. And I'm going to go ahead and take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win this one. The Eagles at the Chiefs. We got upset alert, baby. I'm taking those Philadelphia Eagles to take the Red Hot Chiefs out and send both send them to 500 while the Eagles go to 2-0. This is going to be a great game, though. Mark my words. Could go down to the last play of the game or last drive. The Vikings at the Steelers. I'm going to go with those Pittsburgh Steelers. They're looking very, very good. When all those guys are healthy, the Steelers are an awesome football team to watch. This, the Vikings also look very good as well. Stephon Diggs is unbelievable. I'm I'm speechless right now. He's, he's very talented as well. But look for the Steelers to win this one. The Browns at the Ravens. Browns put up a fight against Pittsburgh, but look for the Ravens to win this one easily. All right. Bills at the Panthers. Got to take those Carolina Panthers to stay hot and start out 2-0. The Cardinals at the Colts. No Andrew Luck. That's an easy pick in the Arizona Cardinals. Titans at the Jaguars. The Titans put up a fight against the Raiders. They're a good football team. Look for them to come out and win this one at Jacksonville, who pulled off a shocker at Houston last week. The Jets at the Raiders. Got to take those Raiders. Oh, my God. They're coming out at a 14-point favorite are you kidding me yeah this is a automatic pick marshawn looks like his old self he looks unbelievable mari cooper looks like he's bulked up that first touchdown of the season was unreal as well but you know defense very impressed i was shocked to see sean smith and amerson put up one of the best stat reels in the entire week for all corners very impressed by how the defense showed up especially eddie vanderdos interior defensive tackle but wow gotta say marshawn Looks like old school Marshawn. He actually looks better than he has the past two or three years. He looks that good. So very impressive. Dolphins at the Chargers. Got to go with the Chargers. Heartbreaking loss. You know, their kicker, Young Ho, is very good. Very talented kicker. Unfortunately, got blocked. But what people don't know is he got blocked quite a bit in Notre Dame. People are, you know, I don't want to blame the guy because he sounds like a very good guy. But you notice that his trajectory on his kicks are way too low. And especially in the NFL, it's going to get blocked quite often. So hopefully he keeps that in mind and adjusts his kick quite a bit. Because that's definitely been an issue that, you know, casual football fans don't seem to grasp that knowledge. But, you know, if you really analyze the game and look at the game, you notice that when you consistently get, get blocked in college football, it's going to pass on to the NFL. So find a way to fix that and the chargers can be a very good team this year they're gonna go and beat the dolphins who also have their first game of the year 49ers at the seahawks okay first of all apologies on my behalf for picking the niners terrible mistake horrid mistake probably won't happen again definitely not when they're an underdog it's not happening again the seahawks win this one in a massive blowout they come back and get back to 500 the Redskins at the Rams, those Rams look sneaky good. And they're about to start 2-0. They look like such a good football team. I was very impressed with the way they played. Look for the Rams to win this one with their strong defense and great play calling by Sean McVay. That offense looks good. Golf looks really good, especially Gurley. I was 
very impressed. The Cowboys at the Broncos. I'm going to take the Dallas Cowboys just because Denver cannot stop the run. They're good at stopping the pass, of course, with those corners, but they cannot stop the run. So look for the Dallas Cowboys to run wild with Zeke. Packers at the Falcons on, ooh, Sunday night, Sunday night football. And we're going to take the Green Bay Packers to upset Atlanta on the road. They're going to win this one. Their defense is looking a lot better this year, so look for them to come out hot and win this game and start 2-0 this season. Finally, we got my favorite da, 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 Monday night football. And I'm taking in a Lions at the Giants game. With the Giants getting Odell most likely back, we're going to go with those Giants. Those G-men to win this one. Those New York Giants come back. They're going to be down at this game. Usually Detroit's up. I think the Giants go down a little bit, but they come back and they storm back and Eli has himself a day. He wins this one. All right, now fantasy news real quick. Nailed a lot of the uh, the players last week, especially the Rams defense. Spot on on that one. But let's go ahead and get to fantasy this week. Quarterback to start, Eli Manning going to destroy the Lions defense. Sit Kirk Cousins. We saw how the Rams defense looks. It looks good. Don't start him. Running backs to start, like I said, Zeke Elliott. Easy money pick even against Denver and the beast mode, Marshawn Lynch. Probably going to get two touchdowns and over 100 yards against the Jets. I think he's going to break out for a 40 or 50 yard touchdown as well. Sit Rob Kelly. Not a good start once again against the Rams. Just don't start anyone against the Rams defense almost all year. They're really good. Also, Carlos Hyde. The guy is terrible. I'm more high on Matt Breida. I think he has more potential. Carlos Hyde is washed. He's done. Even though it's his third year or so, he's, he just doesn't look like a fit in this offense especially. Wide receiver. Start Doug Baldwin. Baldwin's going to get a you know, revamp game, he's going to come back and he's going to have a huge game. I'm calling almost two touchdowns, but he's going to have over 100 yards to receive. And Brandon Cooks, he always plays well against the Saints, especially in that dome. He's used to it, so look for him to have a great game. Sit Des Bryant, he's going to match up against a lot of good corners in Denver. Not worth starting him. And sit Dante Moncrief. Until luck comes back, we can't trust him. Tight ends to start. Start Zach Ertz. Great start this week. He's going to go all in against that Chiefs defense while they cover a lot of the Eagles receivers, sizable receivers, might I add. And Nelson Aguilar also had a great game, but I would definitely start Zach Ertz this week. Sit Kyle Rudolph. Yes, he scored a touchdown, but I do not think he's a good start this week. The Steelers are going to really lock in on him, and Shazier can cover any tight end in the NFL with that speed. Kicker star Dan Bailey, great start this week. And sit Chandler Cunanzaro, he won't kick many against the Raiders. Defense, we got the Seattle Seahawks, easy money start with the 49ers playing them. And sit the Jaguars defense, I know they had a great week last week. They're not going to have a good week against the Titans who barely turned the ball over. Finally, we got sleepers. Quarterback Russell Wilson, I don't know if he's exactly a sleeper because he's talented, but he had a rough week last week abysmal week but he's gonna turn it around and he's known for killing those Niners look for him to stay hot in that category running backs to start sleeper wise Terrence West and Kerwin Williams West against the Browns Kerwin Williams hey David Johnson's out for a while go ahead and pick him up if you already haven't in the waiver wire wide receivers Paul Richardson automatic start this week against the 49ers he's gonna have a huge game with plenty of targets and Devontae Parker been high on him all year look for him to have a huge game as well Finally, we got tight end Martellus Bennett. He's going to show up against the Falcons and drop a touchdown, maybe even two. He's going to have himself a good game with Aaron Rodgers. So there you have it, folks. Those are my week two predictions. Nailed a lot of the week one predictions, especially calling the Broncos Chargers, where the Chargers would cover on the spread, but Denver would win as well. Huge bowl prediction. Nailed almost every single game. You know, it went very, very well. A lot of upsets, though. But, you know, I nailed a few of those upsets as well. So it was a great week. Week two is going to be awesome. Stay tuned and let me know. Feel free to message me if you guys have any fantasy advice or pick em advice, survivor advice. I got your back. You guys have a good one and keep watching the NFL. Have a good one, guys.